Hey guys, Block Essential here, and I am back to talk about Facebook's new and upcoming cryptocurrency, the Libra coin. It has been making a lot of waves in uh, both news and the crypto markets alike. It has been all over different news stations the past couple of weeks, all online, and it's also been affecting uh, the crypto market quite a bit, both Bitcoin and the altcoins as well. It's taken Bitcoin from sub 10,000 to 13,000, back down to 11, and the entire market's kind of all over the place. So we are going to talk about a little bit, get a little bit in depth, and just kind of uh, let you know what's up with Facebook's Libra coin. So Libra is the name of it, obviously. That is the name of the uh, unofficial project that they are working on for it. So the actual name of the coin could potentially change upon release. Uh, the company says it is created to enable a simple global currency and financial infrastructure that empowers billions of people. Essentially, what that means is they want to be the new digital bank. They want people to, uh, you know, earn their cash, spend it, and uh, stop using real physical uh, fiat, essentially. They want to be the new uh, digital currency, and uh, this is their way to do so. So, Libra is quite different from most standard cryptocurrencies when compared to the OG Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a permissionless system. You participate through proof of work by competing to solve a puzzle that lets you add a block to its chain. What that means essentially is that anyone can participate. This is one of the most significant ideas behind the original white paper from Satoshi Nakamoto way back a decade ago. Uh, Bitcoin requires consensus, not trust, where Libra, by contrast, is a permission system, meaning that only a few trusted entities can keep track of the ledger, and that makes it more of a digital currency rather than a cryptocurrency, because there is a central government or authority that has control over the currency, kind of like... Uh, you know, with any standard fiat like the USD or Euro or any regular currency out there, except this one is obviously digital. Unlike most stable coins, however, Libra isn't pegged to one specific currency. Libra is pegged to a group of low volatility assets, including bank deposits and government securities in multiple currencies. While there is uh, Libra reserve, Libra doesn't seem like it is necessarily pegged to its value. Rather, the reserve functions is kind of a lower bound on the Libra's value. So I'm assuming it's going to more or less fluctuate depending on the price of, you know, fiat. So it's going to be pegged to the regular price of like a dollar, you know, one dollar, one uh, Libra coin, something like that. Uh, might, you know, go up a little bit, might go down a little bit, considering it's going to be pegged to other things as well. However, it's going to be relatively stable, so that way people can use it as just a regular digital currency. They don't have to worry about price fluctuations and all that. You know, so if they have this amount, they're most likely going to have the same amount, you know, a day uh, or a week or a month or whatever from that point. And, uh, yeah, just to kind of uh, make it a little bit more secure. So one of the biggest selling points for Facebook's ambitious plans for its new cryptocurrency uh, is that uh, they have a lot of companies that are interested in it. So right now they have t about 27 partners, including uh, big ones like Visa, MasterCard, Uber, Uber, bleh, and uh, PayPal, so some of the giants out there, uh, helping out on the project. Companies are hesitant to associate themselves too closely with the project, however, because Facebook has had some issues with regulations around the world in the past. Uh, they got a shaky track record on privacy and uh, how they treat corporate pr uh, partners as well as, uh, you know, the uncertain legality of cryptocurrencies. India just had a, a kind of scare with a major ban threat on all crypto trading and uh, using it, holding it, uh, with uh, threatening prison sentences. So uh, if that were to have been, you know, applied and then be affected or uh, be applied to Facebook's Libra coin, then, you know, all of India would be unable to use their coin, and I'm sure that'd be a huge chunk of market that they're trying to get at, and so uh, issues like that is something that they have to worry about, as well as, you know, as they were saying, with uh, privacy, uh, how this plans to be incorporated to, to the uh, Facebook platform itself, whatever happens if the Facebook platform decides to, you know, stop being as popular, start slowly dying off and gets replaced with something else, uh, if the coin will just, uh, you know, be alive in just, you know, being used as the new central digital currency where you don't care about Facebook itself, but just the coin and you have some sort of digital wallet where it's held, maybe in your bank account, uh, you know, who knows, these are all questions that are still being asked and being, uh, you know, worked on. The governments have definitely been starting to prod and poke a little bit at their coin. Uh, they've been starting to ask questions and ask for, uh, you know, actual details and paperwork and uh, really wanting to make sure everything's on the up and up just because they also know, you know, Facebook has a little bit of a shaky uh, track record 
and something like a central digital currency uh, that they want the entire world to start using really is um, it's really game changing. You know, it's something that can make a huge impact on a lot of lives. And, uh, you know, if put into the wrong hands, can definitely spell disaster for a lot of people and a lot of economies. So that's something that, uh, you know, they're definitely careful of. They've been, you know, very careful and slow rolling on uh, regulating crypto in the past decade. And so having some sort of, you know, multiple mass monopoly giant companies coming together and, you know, making their own uh, digital currency, they're just like saying, hey, let's... Uh, you know, we got the money, you know, we have all these billions of dollars, let's just go and directly compete with, uh, you know, the U.S. dollar or, you know, uh, euro or just uh, paper money, really. And uh, that can spell a lot of trouble for a lot of people. But this is all speculation right now because the coin is not released. Uh, this is still heavily in development and uh, there's still a lot more going on. So this is just uh, pretty much everything up to the current point, pretty much. So I'll have the links for all the articles that I used and all the information down in the description below. Don't forget to do your own research because I am not an expert by any means in this subject. Uh, this is just something I personally did a little bit of research on, so my facts could be completely off or they could be completely right. You know, I can't say anything for certain except this is what I am currently aware of. What I do know, however, is that it is already making huge waves in this market and the space in general, and as it continues to develop, I'm assuming it's going to continue doing so until it eventually crashes and burns. So until that point, I'll be keeping you guys updated on this and a bunch more. You'll be seeing a lot more videos not specifically crypto gaming related uh, at this point. I'm starting to branch out and expand a little bit more on that, trying to at least. So definitely don't forget to leave me some feedback on what you think on this video and uh, any improvements, what you guys would like to see next, anything like that. So besides that, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to take uh, like and subscribe, comment and share. Don't forget to check out our Patreon page. I really support all you guys' help. I really appreciate it. Um, you know, I it really helps keep this community going, keeps me, uh, you know, able to invest in these projects and really spend the time to bring you the best information. So if you enjoyed enough, uh, definitely go and check that out. And as always, I hope to see you all in the next one. So peace out.